guys! Welcome to Radiant Wanderings. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button below to stay connected. Otherwise, let's just get right into it today. We are talking about which travel booking site is the best, has the best deals for you in general. Recently, I just got selected as a travel ambassador for ID90 Travel, which is one of my favorites. I use them a lot. And I'm super excited about that because I believe it's a great product. Um, but I wanted to do this for you guys. And when I decided to do this, I'm like, well, I need hard facts. I can't just say, yeah, they have the best deals. I need to prove to you guys. And um, I wish it were as simple as saying this booking site always has the best deals. Um, it's not that easy. It depends on what you're looking for. So I'm going to go through a few today and just uh, we'll just discover which ones are best for which uh, bookings, hotel, flights, car rental, cruises. So let's get into it. So a major component of traveling, of course, is finding a place to stay. Um, I do love and I am a big proponent of Airbnb and VRBO. However, once in a while, it doesn't make sense to use those. Typically, if we're only staying somewhere one or two nights, um, oftentimes the cleaning fee and booking fee make that not as reasonable as a hotel. Um, other times we've run into doing a hotel instead is when we're booking last minute and maybe there's not a great Airbnb, Airbnb or VRBO rental available in the area of the city that we're wanting to be in. Um, so, um, all that to say, yes, once in a while I do use hotels, and when I do, I usually use a booking site. So, um, some of my favorites have been booking.com, Expedia.com, and then ID Nothing Travel. So those are the three I'm looking at today. Um, so I decided to look just for, I did this yesterday, so I looked for today just for one night. That's the thing when you're doing booking sites. I, with all of these, I've made sure that my parameters are the same for each. And I've also taken into account, like sometimes you have to look, they say the devil's in the details. So you have to look at those. Do they have free cancellations? Does one include breakfast and the other not? Is it the same room, the same type of room? Um, so I tried to be as consistent as possible and make sure I'm choosing um, identical rooms or cars or that sort of thing at each of these booking sites. So we'll start with booking.com. Um, I searched in Jensen Beach, Florida, because we used to live there a long time ago. It's a beach town, but it's great because it's not overcrowded. And like we went to West Palm Beach before, and there you couldn't even find a spot to park on the beach because it was so resorty. All the resorts took it up in Jensen Beach, at least when we lived there. Um, you could go just drive down the road every mile. You didn't have to pay for parking. Pretty much an empty beach to yourself at this rate. So, side note, good place to go visit. Um, so booking.com, so I looked at two different rooms. Um, we're gonna start with Jensen Beach Inn, not a hotel line. Okay, here's where they ran into. So um, Expedia and ID90 Travel both listed the king size bed, but there were about five or six different options for this king size bed room. And booking.com only had the king size bed and they only had one option. And they didn't list the name of the room, so I'm not exactly sure. And they did not have a similar price. Um, so this one could be faulty because they were $160.95 a night. And ID9 Travel for the king size room was $150.74. So almost $10 cheaper. And then Expedia was $149.86. So Expedia actually won that one by 88 cents over ID90 Travel. Um, same, I think they both included breakfast. I don't remember if they were refundable or not. I don't think that even any of them were on this one. Um, but I did make sure that all three were the same. However, Booking.com, I'm not sure if it was the exact same room with the king size bed. So maybe that wasn't for them. So I did another one and I checked out the Marriott in Jensen Beach as well. Booking.com was $166.13. Um, ID90 Travel was $155.11. And Expedia was $166.14. So ID90 Travel won that one well over the other two by about 11 bucks cheaper a night. And also, I did forget to mention, so when I did this and I compared prices, you have to actually click all 
the way through so you get the final price for the taxes because sometimes they get a little bit tricky and they'll put a price but then like one may include all the taxes in the price that's listed and the other doesn't so if you want to get the true price you have to click through like you're actually going to reserve it and then see what your actual final is. So on um, that one, um, ID90 Travel was the clear winner. Let's move on to flights, another huge part. And um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I work for the airline, so I am never actually looking at buying flights. And um, I was still going to compare for you guys, but I could not because um, if I had to say, I'd say Expedia is the winner on that one. Because Booking.com, when I chose flights, took me to a whole separate like booking site, which I really was not a fan of, and they did not have um, here it was Viama is where it took me to, and they only searched American Airlines and Delta Airlines. Expedia searched American Delta United JetBlue those four. And then ID90 Travel, I don't know, I don't think you guys can use um, ID90 Travel for flights unless you work for an airline. And if you do, then you can. And they actually do more of the budget one. But um, because of that, I couldn't actually compare apples to apples for you guys. Um, I will say, working for an airline, if you do, I, I highly recommend looking for flights on Expedia or Travelocity or whatever booking site you prefer. However, if you're able to, I recommend going directly to that airline site once you find out who has the best price and booking it with them because we have had people come who booked off Expedia or something else and then um, Expedia never let them know that their flight time changed or something else was moved and they show up and they've missed their flight entirely. So um, if you're in a situation like my sister was when they went to South Africa and it's actually Expedia is helping you book flights on several, on multiple airlines and connecting all those together, then you kind of have to book with them. But just be aware that if you do that, you need to make sure before you leave, just confirm all your flight times. Because sometimes um, airlines make a tentative schedule, like six months to a year out, but then as it gets closer, the schedule solidifies and it may change slightly. Okay, so let's move on to cruises. Um, I had to switch up booking sites a little bit for this one because booking.com did not have cruise um, offers on their site. So I chose Costco Travel instead because I actually use, Costco is always my go-to for car rentals and I've never checked them out for anything else, but I thought, well, let's see what they've got. So, of course, again, same as with the hotels, I chose the exact same cruise, exact same departure date from the same city. Um, I did a one person, just one person to begin with. So Costco, for a three night cruise for Miami, round trip on Mariner of the Seas, this is Royal Caribbean, was $532.92. And what's interesting about Costco's, okay, so you get a $25 Costco cash card back, um, but you don't get to choose your room. It's just given to you when you get there, which maybe could be a good thing because they said if there's not any in that category left, then you might get upgraded. But I couldn't actually compare the same category with Costco because it was just CI, like it's, they don't know yet where you're gonna be. Um, so that was the Costco, and then ID90 Travel came in at $492.92 for one person on the Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas. Um, so almost, let's see, 40, about 40 bucks cheaper. So even if you put the $25 Costco cash card in there, you're still coming out $15 cheaper and you get to select your room. And that was in category 6B, B is Victor. And then Expedia for the same category um, for one person was $758.92. So it was a lot more. But then when I was booking the one person on Expedia, they showed a deal like half off for the second traveler. So then I wondered how, if you're actually traveling with two people on a cruise, these sites would compare. Um, so I pulled those up and we've got Costco for two people, the same exact cruise, same departure date was 
four for the total package price. Same situation with the room, same situation, you still only get, um, still look, it looks like you still only get one $25 Costco cash card. So um, that would take it down to $642.84 if you're looking at that. Um, ID90 travel for two adults on the same cruise came in after taxes and every, all the fees, $587.84. So quite a bit cheaper. Um, Again, about that $40 cheaper. And then Expedia came in at $687.84. So they were actually the highest, but they made me think they would be the lowest because they said, who will second person have price? Which is why I did this whole thing to see if they would be, but they were not. Um, so there are your cruises. ID90 Travel, again, was the clear winner um, cruises. Okay, so the last one that we want to look at is rental cars. And like I said a little bit ago, Costco is usually my go-to for rental cars because um, they usually come out about the cheapest and I can cancel it at any time, which I really like, especially as a standby um, passenger on an airline. I could end up going into a different city last minute or something like that, so that is really helpful. But I didn't want to just go with what I thought, so I went ahead and that up for you guys so let's take a look for this one again I just did the exact same day one day getting it at 10 a.m. returning it at 10 a.m. the next day um, I think I did an economy card for all three um, so we are comparing similarities um, so Costco came in at 40.17 for the day um, ID90 travel came in at 41.41 for the day so just let's see <laughs> well, a buck twenty-four. That was quick. I could be wrong. A buck twenty-four more than Costco, and then Expedia after taxes and fees came in at forty-five fifty-five. So they were clearly the highest one there. Um, five forty-five thirty. <laughs> five thirty-eight more um, than Costco. So Costco is the clear winner for cars, although if you don't have Costco membership, ID90 Travel came in right behind it. So um, the two where somebody did beat out ID90 Travel is by about a buck. So ID90 Travel is great. I am excited to be a brand ambassador for them this year. I do have a code down below um, for $10 off your first booking with them. They started, I believe they started just for airline employees. And then they have branched out. Like I said, you still can't get flights on there, but everything else. And they have always, or almost always, checked out as good or better than the competition for me. Okay, so just to recap that, for cruises, ID90 Travel, clear winner um, over Costco even, and Expedia. For flights, I think Expedia is probably your clear winner unless you are an airline employee then you definitely want to check out ID90 Travel. For car rentals, Costco is the clear winner. They have free cancellations and they come up usually with the best price. However, if you're not a Costco member, ID90 Travel was only a dollar more and definitely recommended. For hotels, the first hotel Expedia actually won by 12 cents over ID90 Travel, but the second hotel ID90 Travel took it away, clear winner with 10 or 12 bucks over Expedia and Booking.com. All right, guys, that's it. I'm putting the links below, the coupon code below. I hope you enjoy it. Um, they do also have like activities, event tickets, trip insurance, which is a huge one. It's actually pretty affordable on there. Um, I could not compare event tickets. I tried, I couldn't get the same seatings. And I just, for this situation, I wanted to make sure I was comparing the exact same thing across all the sites to make it a fair comparison. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have an amazing day. Um, please do check out ID9 Travel. It will save you money. And I'll see you guys next time.